Martha often said that slavery was evil. Um, she often said that her family, and in fact the entire country in general, would be better off without it. And she also said, often, that masters and mistresses should be kind to their slaves. But when she was forced to choose, she always put the needs and interests of her children ahead of those of her enslaved workforce, as indeed did Jefferson himself. Um, what that meant was that Martha sometimes sold, rented, um, or otherwise moved slaves away from their families, despite the fact that one of the things that she also often said was that it was utterly unjustifiable to break up the families of enslaved people. So you can see this kind of tension, conflict. Martha hired out slaves to help pay for the house that she shared with her daughter, Virginia, and her son-in-law, Nicholas Trist, in Washington, D.C., um, where Trist got a series of jobs, in part because people in government had heard about Martha's bad situation and wanted to help out. Um, Trist received his first government job from Secretary of State Henry Clay, who offered him a job because Martha's old friend, Margaret Bayard Smith, had told him that employing Trist would help his mother-in-law. And in fact, there's this great letter, short letter, in the Henry Clay papers where, you know, Nicholas Trist must have been really thrilled getting his first job. The letter says, you know, dear Trist, congratulations, I'm hiring you because I want to help your mother-in-law. Must have made the young guy feel great. But anyway, you know, you know, but anyway, he, 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 he got a job. 